if you don't have that, you can't vote. Now, <laughs> it's just crazy. Everything these days you can turn into a race problem. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Well, one of one of the issues I think is as as. Uh, if you go back 150 years and you had slavery in America and then you had Jim Crow and as all of that shrivels uh, obviously the things that people have to complain about so now they're complaining if you are at a university and you're given a book that has a racist term in it it triggers you they're having to complain about less and less and less and less and oddly the more uh, the more serious institutional racist things go away, the more racism there is, because you have to take a you have to take a million and one trivialities and make them racist, Anthony. It's like taking the gollywogs out of Enid Blyton's naughty books. Oh yeah, well actually, since you say that, the the royal mint in the United Kingdom, Enid Blyton, died 50 years ago. And she was, they were going to put her on a coin in the United Kingdom, and the Royal Mint just nixed that because of those racy, racy, racist gollywogs in her book. So uh, <laughs> don't, knock, don't knock that, Anthony. That can have life, uh, reputation-changing consequences. Uh, tell me something. You're not reading, really, along with all your other encouraging your daughter to uh, uh, claim to be African-American, you're not reading her Edith Blyton books as well, are you? Oh, and, and I, I was reading a bigger book. Oh, no, 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 that's, uh, that's, a, that, that's a ripping yarn from, uh, from uh, the United Kingdom, uh, parodied by Monty Python as Biggles Flies Undone. Uh, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll leave that to a, another, uh, another day. Thank you, thank you very much for your call, Anthony. He knows what, it, he's been tr in training a long time because the white Rhodesians, uh, were like with Ulster Unionists as the most uh, despised people on the planet to the liberal drawing.